Hey guys, this is Jathan from Wakehouse.com. If you're a competitive course slalom skier, one of the problems you're gonna have is you feel like your ski is coming out too aggressively out of the uh, turn from the buoy. Here to solve that problem is gonna be Jack Phillips. And Jack, run me through how to fix that problem and be a little bit less aggressive. Yeah, I'm an aggressive skier myself, so I deal with this a lot. Um, the, really, the measurement we're working with is the distance from the tail of our fin, which is just a really small area between the back of the fin and the back of the ski. Okay. Um, what changing this will do is kind of change the feel of the ski's length. So with a shorter ski, it's a little more aggressive. It's going to snap out of those turns a little bit more, but it won't be, it won't hold as well or have as much surface area through the wakes uh, where you need that speed. Whereas a longer ski, you're going to have trouble really getting into snap in that turn, but it's going to carry that angle and carry that speed really well through the wakes. So let's say I want to increase my distance from the tail of the ski with the fin. That's going to make the ski feel shorter. It might uh, make those turns snap a little bit more, but I might lose a little bit in the wakes. Uh, whereas if I move my fin back toward the tail of the ski, uh, that's where we'll kind of get rid of that aggressiveness. It's going to slow down those turns a little bit and hold through the wakes a little better. So you got to kind of find what works for you and find the happy medium. So distance from the tail measurement. Uh, this is this back Allen screw right here that's going to be affecting that. So like all other adjustments, make sure these are in a good spot before you make any changes. Then you can go ahead and loosen the fin from the fin box using these front three. And then this make going righty tighty will push that fin forward increasing the distance from the tail whereas opposite will decrease that distance from the tail um, once you have that nice and snug and where you want it to be make sure you measure using your calipers and then uh, it'll take this measurement right here and then go ahead and tighten these up make sure they're nice and snug and go out for a rip